Welcome to RC Tech. This is Ritesh Srinivasan. In this video, I will demonstrate how we can do exploratory data analysis and visualization of a text data set using Python. I am specifically performing exploratory data analysis and visualization on the Amazon Fine Food Reviews data set from Kaggle. The code is uploaded on GitHub and the link is present in the description of the video. If you are new here and like such content, please subscribe to the channel. Let us look at how we can perform exploratory data analysis and visualization on a text dataset. I'll be using the Amazon Fine Food Reviews dataset from Kaggle. The link is present over here. Uh, I will first import the necessary libraries. I'll be using Seaborn for visualization. I'll be using WordCloud also for visualization and matplotlib by plot to display our plots. Okay, let us uh, read the CSV file, which is our reviews into a data frame, pandas data frame. And let, let us look at the first 10 uh, rows, right? So here we have these columns. There is an ID, there is a product ID, there is a user ID, there is a profile name, uh, there is helpfulness numerator, helpfulness denominator, there is a score which corresponds to the review score. And here is the review text. You have the review text summary as well as a timestamp. Now let us uh, look at if there is any null values in this particular uh, data set in any of the columns. And I remove those uh, columns where there are some null or NA values present using a df.drop NA. So there are a total of 568k rows present in this data set. And uh, after removing of uh, null values, we uh, there are close to 40 records with null values or 43 records. So basically we remove that. Now let us look if there are any duplicates in the review as well as, uh, you know, the review score, basically the score and the text columns uh, using that as uh, my filter, I'm trying to remove the duplicates. So after I remove the duplicates, the, uh, uh, the data set gets reduced from 568K to 393K records. Okay, now uh, let us uh, do some uh, analysis on the scores column. Basically, I want to know how many reviews over here have a score of five, how many reviews have a score of four, how many reviews have, have a score of three and so on. For this, what I do is that I use the CBON or SNS count plot, right? And the X axis is our scores, which is one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the data is our data frame, but I order the scores in terms of their uh, counts, basically the review counts, and I plot them. Uh, this piece of code here is just to show the values of uh, the count above the uh, bar over here. Right. So when we look at the uh, distribution, we see over here that most of the reviews are have a score of 5, uh, close to 250k records out of 393k records have a uh, score of 5. Uh, similarly, there is, uh, you know, 56k records with uh, score of 4, uh, 36k uh, records with score of 1, 29k records with score of 3, and uh, 20k records with score of 2. So from this uh, initial uh, visualization itself, we can realize that uh, this data set has more uh, reviews with uh, score is equal to 5. Right? And it is a heavily imbalanced uh, data set. If you are doing any kind of a machine learning model for classification of reviews uh, into a particular score, uh, then this data set is uh, highly imbalanced over here. Right? So now let us look at, uh, say, the number of products present in this data set. For this, we do group by, by product ID. Uh, so here we see that there are close to 67K products present in this data set. Now let us filter how many products are there which have at least 400 reviews. Okay, so what we do is that we again group by by product ID, but then we filter by uh, the group count greater than 400. So we basically have uh, 23 products which have more than uh, 400 reviews. Let us plot these 23 products. But here what I do is that I also want to see for each product how are the reviews are distributed basically what kind of scores are uh, distributed over here so for this what i do is that i again do a count plot but for the hue uh, what do you call uh, the hue variable i set the score 
So basically, if you look at this plot here, you see that on the y-axis, you have your product ID. You also have how the scores are, uh, how the reviews are distributed based on the scores over here. So now these 23 products over here have more than 400 reviews, right? Now let us see how many users are present in this particular uh, data set. For this, we do a group by based on the user ID. So here we see that there are close to 256K users. And now let us look at, you know, uh, there are chances that some users may have given more than one review, right? So let us start by looking at, you know, how many users are there who have given more than 10 reviews. So we have close to 2,555 users out of this 256K uh, users who have given reviews more than 10. Now, uh, if you go to reviews more than five, then we have close to 8K users. And if you go to reviews more than two, you have 50K users. That means a majority of this 256K users have given only one review, right, in this data set. Okay, so now let us uh, look at, uh, you know, the number of users who may have given more than 50 or 100 reviews, right? So when I see the number of users who have given more than 50 reviews, I get close to 111 users and more than 100 reviews, I get only 18 users. Now, these 18 users have given reviews for close to 2,507 products in total, right? So these 2000, uh, basically these 18 users have uh, given more than 100 reviews, all right? Now let us plot these 18 users. Again, uh, we can do, uh, you know, Hue is equal to score. So we see that how these users have distributed their reviews or how have they given reviews, all right? So that is this particular plot. So basically on the Y axis, you have your user ID and you also have, uh, you know, the number of reviews given by them and the distribution of their scores. So this is the visualization which uh, shows that, right? Now let us, uh, you know, try some kind of visualization with workload. So for that, I have to first pre-process my text. Uh, so I remove stop words. For this, I use NLTK package. I use the stop words from NLTK. I also do, uh, you know, lemmatization on my text. So basically finding similar words or uh, replacing the words with their root. Okay, so for that I use uh, NLTK stem and I import the word net limitizer. I also do word tokenization and send text tokenization during this process. So I have defined uh, the stop word removal, the limitization, and then the clean text for removing, uh, say, punctuations. Right now, what I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to, uh, you know, split this data set into two groups. So one is the reviews which are have a low score of one or two. And then a set of reviews which have a high score of four, uh, more than three, basically three, four, five. So here I've created two uh, groups, basically. The first one is uh, DF uh, underscore rating one, two, and the second one is DF rating uh, three, four, five. So uh, two sets of uh, two data sets, basically. And if you look at again, uh, it's an imbalanced data set, right? Most of the reviews were of score uh, five. So that is, uh, you know, uh, visible here as well. So we have 57K records which have ratings uh, one or two, and we have close to uh, 336K records, which have rating uh, three or four or five. So on this uh, text column, I apply by clean text, remove stop words and lemmatization on both these uh, data groups. Now on that, I just want to, you know, look at uh, the length of the reviews. So basically I compute the number of words for each review over here in both the groups and then I describe them to, to get some basic statistics. So if you look at most of the reviews have, uh, basically the reviews have a mean value of 44 words, right? And uh, the maximum uh, review is of, uh, has close to uh, 1,156 words, right? So this is in the low scoring group. Now in the high score group, uh, we again see similar parameters. So we can't make much about, you know, how, uh, like the reviews are distributed. Like we can't say that the reviews which have got low scores are uh, short in length, whereas the reviews which have got high score are, which are rated high or highly rated reviews have long scores, right? Uh, have long, uh, basically well, uh, high, uh, long length in terms of uh, the reviews, right? Now let us try some uh, word cloud visualization. Uh, 
till now we assumed that uh, low scores are 1 and 2 and high scores are 3 4 5 right so let us do some visualization to verify this so what for this what i do is that i look at uh, the summary column basically which has a summary of the review text right and i create word clouds for these two groups so a word cloud is nothing but a visualization of text uh, so what it does in a word cloud is that it kind of uh, find the frequency of the words in the text and the higher frequency words are shown in bigger font uh, and all the words are shown in different colors and different orientations in this particular image. So that is uh, in this particular image uh, basically which looks like a cloud of words. Okay, for this I use the word cloud library and by default word cloud uh, has a limit, uh, looks at top 200 words. So what I do over here is I specify the background color, the width and height of this image and I also give the text. So basically I combine all the reviews and then give the text. That is what is done over here. And let us plot this word cloud for the uh, low scores, our assumed low scores, right? One and two. Uh, so when you look at that, you see that, yeah, these uh, low scores corresponds to negative words over here. So you have words like disappointed, stale, bad, not, flavor, do not, right, not worth, not good, disappointing, yuck. So yes, it kind of validates that, yeah, one and two are for low scores uh, in terms of reviews. Now let us look at uh, three, four, five, basically in that group and you see the summary over here. We again create a word cloud on the summary column. Uh, similar parameters, um, you see the words over here are like great product, delicious, love it, yummy, my favorite, gluten free, the best. Um, so yeah, three, four, five corresponds to, you know, positive scores. The methods described in this particular video can be used to perform exploratory data analysis and visualization on any text data set. If you like such content, please like the video, please share the video. Please subscribe to the channel. Also press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I create a new video. See you in the next video. Bye for now.